here we go again. Another summer of making a guitar. So this year slightly different. They're including Instagram and Facebook as well as YouTube. And yeah, why not? The more people involved, the better. More instruments get made, more people are playing guitar. If you're new to me and the channel, welcome. Thanks for clicking the video. There's a playlist for the build I did last year. So go and check that out and see what I'm about. This year, I'm doing something different for me. Still quite a traditional guitar. I'm going to do in a double cutaway uh, reverse headstock and I, I, it's going to be my first guitar that I'm putting a trem on because I've not made one yet. It's always been a, a fixed or hardtail bridge for me. So I want to have a go at putting a trem uh, into a guitar and see how it turns out. Now, build off this year, they're supporting several charities and when we were signing up, we had to choose which charity uh, to support. So I've gone for the Music Without Borders charity uh, where they basically help kids get hold of instruments and learn music, which I think is very worthwhile and all children should know an instrument. So that's why I've decided to support that one. Any donations going that way will be much appreciated. Thank you very much. For this build, I've started getting materials and things together that I need. And yeah, got something quite nice and a, a little bit special this time around. So for the body wood, got a, a piece of sapili that I've book matched to make the body blank. Uh, although, yeah, it'll be that way around. <laughs> yeah, I'm prepared, honest. Right, so it'll be that way around. So, uh, started getting it jointed. Uh, just need to give it a touch up before we get it into clamps and get it glued together. Uh, for the neck, we've got another piece of sapili. Single block this time. I'm not doing a multi-laminate neck. Uh, I did that last time. And I've got a piece of sapili that's more than big enough for a neck blank. And it's got enough thickness that I can handle the, uh, the break angle on the headstock as well. So that's all good. And this is a very nice piece with very straight grain and very few defects in it so it's suitable to use uh, as a neck because it's going to be less prone to movement or warp or anything like that so the neck will be coming out of that eventually now for the top i have got a very nice piece of roasted maple that's a really nice caramel kind of colour and I've got an extra spare bit that I can use for sorting out headstock veneer, control cavity cover etc. So this is going to be the top going on that sapili because there's a lot of flame in it. I'm looking forward to seeing how it comes out. Dump it down a little bit. Yeah, that is really pretty. It's uh, one of the pieces that I got from uh, Alpha Woodworks a while ago, and I've been waiting for a suitable project to use it on, and I thought that this would do very nicely. Now, with regards to shape, 
I'm going for a double cutaway and I'm going to be using this template which is based on a guitar by Ernie Ball called a Silhouette uh, which I worked on one a while ago and did a setup for a guy and honestly it was one of the most playable guitars I've ever got my hands on it was absolutely incredible I made a template based on the body shapes not exactly the same obviously uh, but it's you know very close since I wanted to uh, do a double cutaway and add a trim I thought yeah I don't want to do just a bog standard strap because you know everyone does strats but I thought this could be fun so as far as design goes I need a ruler so The starting point of any guitar is the centre line. That's what you work from for pretty much everything with regards to building it. So that's going to be long enough. Always put your tools back so you know where they are when you need one. So, got a centre line marked on the template, and we line that up with the line we just drew. So that's the body shape. The neck. So same on my neck template. I've got a centre line marked, but I've also got where the nut is, 12th fret and fret 16 and 17. Now most guitars, the neck join or you know where the neck fully meets the body is it always a, gen, tends to be around the 16th 17th fret traditionally uh, some guitars you know like PRS's for example uh, because of the way it's designed the, the body join is around the 20 21st fret but for this type of guitar you know we want it to be around the 16th 17th fret so again centre line See there, I've got the body join there between frets 16 and 17. This line here is the end of the fingerboard, so I'm not going to be re insetting the neck that far into the body. Because that's what I'll do. The other guitars that I've made. Or like on a Les Paul where there's a you know a deep tenon that goes right under the, the neck pickup, that's just to add strength and stability. So that's the main part of our neck. For the headstock shape, I've got this 
generic kind of six in line headstock but i thought it would be fun to reverse the headstock on this one you need the nut line Kevin. So I've just marked the nut in so I know where I am, so that I can add. The headstock shape. So going to need some left-handed tuners because obviously on a reverse headstock everything's upside down and back to front so you need the tuners to be going the other way so that it will make sense when you're trying to tune up this is going to be 25 inch scale which is 635 millimeters uh, which is what PRS tend to use and it's you know it's my favorite scale for player playability for me so now I know where the nut is going to be we can work out the nominal intonation point which will be six thirty five. There. there you go. Okay. So one of the things that I really liked when I was working on that Ernie Ball guitar was how comfortable it was around the heel joint. Now, because of the way it's shaped here and the way that lower cutaway comes into the bottom horn, it felt very easy for my hand to get up to the uh, upper frets. Now, what I'll be able to do is when the neck pocket is rated, and I've got the neck in place. I'm going to carve away the back of that completely so it'll all be nice and flush. There won't be any heel block there at all. Uh, it'll be, you know, more like a through neck kind of thing, which again is something that I prefer and I just think it feels a lot more comfortable in your hand. So that's what I'll be doing for there. Now, to make the headstock a little bit more pretty. I'm going to inset a piece of this off cut so it will match the body. So it's not going to be a full veneer on the headstock. Uh, I'm just going to put a slight piece, a smaller piece in there. So that will be going in there and then obviously you'll have the tuners there that'll be inset in there and if I do stay in the top then I'll match it up to keep it homogenous that's the basic layout and design of the guitar sorted out now for pickups got something quite cool going on for those uh, there's actually a set being made for me uh, which is awesome um, there's a little while ago a guy called Simon uh, contacted me um, he runs uh, Curly Oak pickups and he asked me if I'd be interested in trying the set uh, which was very flattering and I, you know I'm really grateful that he reached out so uh, we had a conversation 
and I explained that the build off was due to start soon and coming and he's making a set of pickups for us to put in this guitar uh, which is very cool so you know when they're done and they arrive we'll we'll give you an unboxing so I can show you what they're all about uh, so it's going to have a, a humbucker on the bridge and a single coil on the neck and you know I'll add some switching options and you know a coil split and all that kind of stuff to make that you know a bit more funky and give some more you know tone options on the guitar on the bridge single coil on the neck it's gonna be awesome can't believe I'm doing this again but need something to do on the weekend and um, why not make a guitar uh, follow along and again shout out to bonehead guitars because that guy is already curating a playlist for this year's competition so you know make sure you go and check him out and, and follow his playlist so you can keep up with the builds or what everybody's doing I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, hit like, subscribe, etc., because it really helps. And obviously, we're going to be supporting, you know, music without boundaries. So it all adds up. So thank you very much indeed. And take care, stay safe, and we'll see you on the next one. Cheers.